I'm Carrie Cobham in Palm Coast. In the 32 days after the city started using cameras to catch red light runners, 732 motorists were issued a $125 citation. Over the same period last year, Flagler County Sheriff's deputies wrote 15 tickets for traffic light infractions and 74 for violating traffic control devices. While officials say it's a matter of public safety, motorists here are divided over the move to install 24-hour electronic traffic cops at six busy intersections. I think that they're good for the people that are running red lights to stop them from running red lights and you know, as long as you obey the law, you have nothing to worry about. I think it's an invasion to be honest with you. I think that they, um, you know, if they can't catch him by sitting in a car and going after him, then they should forego any other means. Here's how it works. Every time a traffic light turns red, a camera like this takes an electronic picture and video. That gets sent by computer to American Traffic Solutions in Arizona. If a motorist is shown crossing the intersection after the light turns red, video and pictures of the infractions and the car's tags are sent to the city for review. Sighted motorists have 21 days to pay up or appeal before a city hearing officer. One of the reasons we, went, uh, we looked at the red light camera system was due to the enormous amount of complaints we were receiving on red light running within the city limits. Um, Red light running complaints probably were our number one violations or vi uh, moving violation complaints other than speeding uh, complaints. Not all motorists flagged by the company are ticketed. The driver in this video was incited even though he failed to stop behind the white line. Keep with our promise to, to the city council that this wasn't going to be a money making venture, that this was purely public safety. In the effort of fairness, um, most people do not come to a complete right on right. Now, I know that is the state law, but we have not write, written or issued any citations of a warning. If they try to make some attempt to stop, or, or, you know, they weren't going to cause an accident. At about 700 citations a month, the city stands to make $714,000 a year, while American Traffic Solutions would make more than $300,000. Uh, we're concerned about the red light cameras because we feel that they are, in fact, just for money, not for safety. McGuire says red light running can be reduced sharply by lengthening yellow lights, enlarging traffic signals, and better coordination of signals. I personally like to compare it to if you find a person sick, uh, you go in and find and you can go treat them, or you can go find out that they have, they're in a drafty room, moist, it's that's um, filthy. You can continue to treat them and they'll stay sick and you'll make money off it or you can change their circumstances, put them in a good room, dry room, no drafts and they'll get better. Carmen says traffic studies indicated the city's traffic lights were timed correctly with four second yellow lights. We asked whether the cameras might someday be unnecessary. The criteria for no, lean, no longer leading the program is uh, I'm we're going to keep an eye and see if we reduce the amount of violations. Um, we'd have to sign a yearly contract. Uh, in, I'm pr it's probably wishful thinking. I don't think this will ever go away. But uh, if you had zero violations, I would be more than glad to get rid of the program. However, I'm not so sure that if we get rid of it, that the violations would not come back into place.